a rocket mass heater. This actually is on an induction fan, so I can vary the amount of draw um, in the J tube itself, which is kind of cool because I can really have a small fire or a pretty ripping fire. Right now, I just started this back up. I had this running for a couple hours this morning, heating a 24 by 40 uh, workshop. Insulated walls, R13 in the walls, the ceiling I didn't get a chance to insulate yet, but I will this summer. Um, about uh, 70 to 80 feet of pipe that I use for the exhaust. I have that running down the long wall. Uh, you can see some of it here. Um, I've got it running down the wall. I'll take a, a better video. Um, that goes about 40 feet off to the right there. I just have too much junk in the way right now. That pipe really doesn't get that hot, but I'll tell you, it does suck a lot of the heat right off of that. And no matter how dry your wood is, you're still going to get some water. So I found just through experimenting that um, you got to run it pretty hot, get those pipes warmed up really well. The exhaust temperature, while I don't really have any means to measure it, um, you know, you can put your hand right up against it and it's very, very comfortable. It's not real hot at all. But it keeps the, uh, the condensation from doing what it did right there, as you can see. Uh, that was from a couple of days ago. I've been running this now on and off uh, for about a week. You can see that that's really starting to kick now. I'll show you the fan. The um, magic heat just kicked on. That has a um, 260 degree thermostat, I believe. And it's going to cycle on and off uh, for a little while. And then what I do is as, I, as this starts to really heat up, it will, um, I'll just switch it on so it stays running all the time. But you can see, see if I can get back here. Um, that's kind of what the, the barrel looks like. I have it on a cart, believe it or not. It's a 3,000 pound capacity cart. And when I'm done with this in the wintertime, I'll just roll it out of the workshop and put it away inside the barn so that it, I can reclaim the space. And um, But here's here's what the uh, fan looks like. And I've got it on a Variac so I can adjust the speed of the fan itself. Right now I'm running at 100 volts. If there's just embers in the rocket stove itself, I will um, crank that way down just to have just a little bit of a draw but you can kind of see if I step back here um, you, know, you can kind of see here a little bit what that looks like it takes a long time for that mass to warm up I had it running for a couple hours this morning it was still warm outside though it was uh, just a little over 30 degrees but I've run this when it's been zero outside, and this thing just does an unbelievable job um, warming up the shop. It's very comfortable. I was working all day down here at about 72, 73 degrees, and then I have these rather large fans that I run. Those are DC motor fans, so um, those do a real nice job just slowly turning the air and moving the air around the shop itself. There's a lot of metal in here. So it takes a while to bring the shop itself up to temperature, although the air temperature might be pretty warm. So as you can see, I have uh, just some fire brick there that I can put over the top of the burn to, uh, you know, experiment with the airflow. So this whole thing right now is I'm just kind of toying with it, but I'm really impressed. I burn uh, just junk pallet wood and I, I cut them about a foot long, chop them up and just stick them in there. If I want a really long burn, I can actually put traditional logs in there and uh, it burns for a really long time. It really does a nice job, but that's kicking pretty well right now. When I can do a better job, I'll post another video um, that shows kind of the whole system. Right now, the shop's kind of a mess and it's somewhat embarrassing, but this was all experimental. I, I had no idea whether or not this was going to work. I see a lot of different examples on YouTube. And um, I just thought I'd, I'd share what I did. Again, I don't know if there's any right, wrong, or indifferent reason on how they build these. I think I used 61 um, fire brick. I used the um, half width and the full width. 
I think there was a total of 61 bricks. There's a total of about uh, 1,200 pounds of concrete that I formed up and, and poured, and I used some cinder block and stuff just to try to get as much mass on that cart as I could. I'm getting pretty close to about 2,800 pounds of total weight on that. The riser um, is all um, fire brick, so that ain't going anywhere anytime soon. The barrel was reclaimed from an old wood stove barrel kit. Um, I don't know if I can get over the top or not, but you can see I can actually at some point open up that door and take a look down inside once the whole thing's all cooled down and see really what's going on. That was the initial plan. It didn't work out that well. I actually had to seal that door shut because there's so much pressure. It was actually blowing ash uh, out of the cracks and stuff up there. I thought maybe having an induction fan on there, it wouldn't have done that. It would have just pulled everything through the system, but I think this thing was doing uh, what it was advertised to do. So anyway, hope you found that uh, interesting. This isn't really isn't a tutorial or a build video. Um, I just thought I'd share here real quick before I can do a more official, uh, official video. All right. Have a good one. Take care.